Have you ever wondered what goes on behind the simple action of switching a light on? How is energy being produced to power our homes and offices? Singapore's energy sector has evolved since its early days, from oil to natural gas for cleaner power generation. We are constantly looking for innovative solutions to ensure a clean, affordable and reliable energy future. Our energy demand is also set to increase as our economy develops. To mitigate climate change, it is urgent for Singapore to harness sustainable energy sources. As part of our energy story, we have identified four key switches to ensure energy is produced sustainably to power our future. They are natural gas, solar, regional power grids and low carbon alternatives. Let's find out more about some of these switches in this video. You are here at the Singapore Power System Control Centre. This is the nerve centre of Singapore's power generation and transmission system. You are catching a rare glimpse behind the scenes. Here, operators work hard to ensure that power generation and transmission is smooth and secure 24 hours a day 365 days a year. Look around to see how electricity and gas flowing across Singapore is monitored and regulated. Due to the lack of natural resources, we must constantly find innovative ways to cater to increasing energy demands. But there is no single solution. We must balance the trade-offs between energy security, energy affordability and environmental sustainability. This is what we call the energy trilemma. Hence, the Energy Market Authority is constantly sourcing for reliable, efficient and sustainable energy sources to fulfil the needs of current and future generations. With this in mind, let's explore the scenes behind some of our energy sources in Singapore. Let's take a look at some snippets of the SLNG terminal at Jurong Island. One of Singapore's key sources of energy is liquefied natural gas or LNG. Tankers filled with LNG arrive at the SLNG terminal to be unloaded into storage tanks. This allows Singapore to import natural gas from other countries. Incredible! In this terminal, LNG is stored and converted into gaseous form which can then be used to generate electricity for our national grid. Natural gas emits 50 to 60% less carbon dioxide when combusted compared to coal and oil. It is one of the cleanest fossil fuels today. Currently, more than 95% of Singapore's electricity is generated using natural gas. This is the first switch in our energy story. As natural gas is the most practical energy source in terms of ensuring security of supply, it will continue to be a dominant fuel for Singapore in the near future. To ensure that our energy sources are environmentally sustainable, we are exploring renewable energy sources too. Now, let's take a trip down to some of these places to find out more. Behind me is Tengge Reservoir. The solar panels that you see here harness energy from the sun to generate electricity. Based on our geographical location, solar remains Singapore's most promising renewable energy source and is also one of the four switches in our energy story. The government is working towards installing at least 2 gigawatt peak of solar by 2030. This will meet the annual power needs of around 350,000 households in Singapore. Let's take a closer look, find out more and watch a step. The clean energy produced here could be used to reduce the carbon footprint of energy-intensive water treatment processes like the ones in new water and desalination plants, ensuring sustainability in the long run. PUB is going to install a larger solar system on this reservoir. When completed, Tengge Reservoir will house one of the largest single-floating solar photovoltaic systems in the world. However, solar is highly dependent on weather conditions. When a cloud passes by and blocks the sun, the amount of energy that can be captured by solar panels decreases. This is why for solar installations, we're also looking at how we can effectively store excess energy in industrial batteries known as energy storage systems or ESS. 
ESS enables us to store solar captured during the day for later use when required. Hey, did you notice that the solar panels are installed on water bodies to maximize the surface area available? Due to our space constraints, Singapore is installing solar on rooftops as well. By 2020, about one in two HDB rooftops will have solar panels. Apart from solar, Singapore is also looking into emerging low carbon alternatives that have the potential to further reduce Singapore's carbon footprint. Let's take a look. Welcome to the biomass boiler plant here at Gardens by the Bay. While you may be more familiar with the incredible plant life or the enormous super trees, there is an amazing process that goes on behind the scenes. Here, horticultural waste from across Singapore are processed into food chips and are used as biomass fuel. The fuel provides the energy to the food conservatories and gardens by the bay. This is in line with our fourth switch to explore emerging low carbon solutions. Let's head deeper inside. The wood chips are placed inside this boiler, which then creates superheated steam to power this turbine behind me. The turbine generator uses steam to generate electricity. Gardens by the Bay then optimizes this steam to provide heat energy, which can be used for a liquid desiccant and cooler system to create a dry and cool condition for the plants in the conservatories. Now, look behind me. Eventually, some of the heat from these processes is safely released from a hidden vent on top of one of these super trees. And here's a little secret. Even the ash collected can be recycled. Nothing goes to waste. Now, that's efficiency at its peak. Now, we're going to see how Singapore continues to innovate and explore alternative energy sources. We're here at Pulau Samakau, our offshore landfill site. It is part of Nanyang Technological University's or NTU's microgrid test site. This area here is where NTU scientists and leading companies test and develop sustainable energy solutions for Singapore, such as wind and solar. For example, each of these mini wind turbines by the coast, integrated with its solar panels, can generate up to 500 watts of energy. This energy is stored in an ESS and is used to power the lights at night. Given our geographical location, Singapore's average wind speeds is much lower than the speeds required by large-scale wind turbines. Hence, relying on wind energy is still a big challenge for us. Despite that, we'll continue to see how Singapore can introduce different renewable energy sources into our nation's energy mix, balancing it with our economic and security considerations. Until then, we still rely primarily on natural gas and solar for our energy needs. Welcome back to the Power System Control Centre. You just explored the different energy sources in Singapore as well as their limitations. Singapore is working very hard on the four energy switches to ensure that we are ready and well prepared to overcome the challenges of climate change and create a brighter and cleaner energy future for everyone. We'll also continue our efforts to improve on energy efficiency in all sectors, from households to industrial buildings. All of us have a part to play to contribute and to co-create Singapore's energy story. So next time you flip a switch, pause to think, what can I do to create an impact or difference in Singapore's energy sector? by harnessing sustainable energy sources, pushing innovative technologies and striving to be energy efficient, Singapore is powering our future for generations to come.